we begin with the latest on the mess left behind by high winds hitting the central coast. One place seeing more than its share of damage, Aptos. And we get the details now from Action News reporter Phil Gomez. He joins us live from Aptos. Well, good afternoon, Dale. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm, on, I'm near Greenbrier Court in Aptos, and as you can see behind me, this house is one of the casualties of this recent storm. High winds toppled dozens of trees throughout Santa Cruz County. In one area, a huge tree fell across Bennett Street in the Rio Del Mar Flats area in Aptos. It just missed this house and covered a car, but the owner of the vehicle was lucky his car was not damaged. On Greenbrier Court, where I'm at right now, this 100-foot tree, long tree fell onto the roof of the house, startling its owners. It felt like an earthquake. And uh, jumped out of bed, and uh, it was still dark, and this is what we woke up to. So you breathe inside, I believe? I definitely am. Why? Because it's terrible, but what didn't happen is more remarkable. In all, there are five road closures throughout Santa Cruz County. Most of those involve trees falling onto power lines and knocking out power to thousands of PG&E customers. And here at this location, they're going to need a crane to remove it. Reporting in Aptos, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. In Soquel, there was a minor underground explosion that sent flames and smoke shooting up from a PG&E electrical vault. It happened about 8.30 this morning along Porter Street near Soquel Drive. It knocked out electrical power to the area. Much of that's still out. At least one business closed while another worked in the dark. No one was injured. Up in Butte County, the high winds combined with falling trees were deadly. A 79-year-old woman was killed when a tree crashed down on her car while she was driving. And a man in his 20s sleeping in his bed was hit by a tree that fell on his home. A neighbor described how branches and trunks seemed to drop like dominoes. It was like this big, huge wind that came through here. It was one tree right after another. Within like 10 minutes, five or six trees were down. And up in Redding, a tree also fell on a house and killed a woman inside.